Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks Desktop Pro provides the Lead Center as a way to keep track of potential customer leads for your company file. To open the Lead Center, select Customers, Lead Center from the menu bar. The Lead Center window that appears on screen is divided into three panes. The left pane is used to select and sort the leads that you have entered. The upper right Lead Information pane is used to display and edit the information for a selected lead. The bottom right pane contains four tabs, To Do's, Contacts, Locations, and Notes. You can click these tabs to view To Do's, Contacts, Locations, and Notes about a selected lead. To add a single new lead, click the New Lead button in the toolbar at the top of the window to open an Add Lead window. In the Add Lead window, enter a unique name for the lead into the Name field. Choose a status for the lead from the status drop-down. To enter company information for the lead, click the Company tab. Enter the company name and main phone number into the Company Name and Main Phone fields. You can enter whatever data you want into the three fields at the top of the tab. By default, they are Website, Main Email, and Additional Email. However, you can click the drop-down to the right of any field name to select a different field if desired. To add location information, enter a location name into the location field and then type an address into the address field. To add another location, click the Add Another Location button and then repeat the same process. After adding a second location, you can then use the Main Address drop-down to select the main location if desired. To add contacts for the lead, click the Contacts tab. Enter the name and job of the primary contact into the Job Title, Mr. Ms., First Name, Middle Initial, and Last Name fields. Then enter whatever data you want into the five fields that appear at the bottom of the tab. By default, they are Work Phone, Work Fax, Mobile, Main Email, and Additional Email. However, you can click the drop-down to the right of any field name to select a different field if desired. Ensure that the Is Primary Contact checkbox is checked. To add another contact after the primary contact, click the Add Another Contact button and then repeat the same process. When you are finished creating the new lead, click the OK button at the bottom of the Add Lead dialog box to save it into the Lead Center window. To add multiple leads at a time, Click the Import Multiple Leads button at the top of the Lead Center window to open an Import Leads dialog box. You can either manually enter the lead data into each row, or you can copy and paste that data into the rows from an Excel spreadsheet. If you want to paste one column of data at a time from an Excel worksheet, you simply need to click into the topmost cell under the column to which you want to paste the copied column data in the Import Leads dialog box, and then press Ctrl plus V on your keyboard to paste the data into the column. After entering your leads, click the Continue button. QuickBooks will tell you how many leads it will import and give you a chance to correct any errors. When ready, click the Continue button again to import the leads. Then click the OK button when finished. To edit a lead within the Lead Center, Double-click the name of the lead to edit within the left pane of the Lead Center window to open an Edit Lead dialog box. Change whatever information is required within the Edit Lead dialog box, and then click the OK button in the dialog box to save your changes. To filter the lead shown in the left pane of the Lead Center window, use the drop-down that appears at the top of the pane to select the type of leads to display within the pane below. To view all your leads again, select All Leads or Active Leads from the same drop-down menu. To add, edit, or delete to-dos, contacts, locations, or notes for a selected contact, you can right-click the information area within the desired tab in the lower right pane of the Lead Center window. From the pop-up menu that appears, you can select the Edit or Delete commands to edit or delete the data you right-clicked. To add new data of the selected type, just select the New command from the pop-up menu instead.
To convert a lead into a customer, select the lead to convert from the left pane of the lead center window. Then click the Convert this lead to a customer button in the upper right corner of the lead center window. Note that you may lose some data when converting a lead into a customer as lead records can contain more information than customer records can. Also note that you cannot undo this action after it has been completed. When you are ready to convert the lead, click the Yes button in the confirmation message box that appears to permanently convert the lead into a customer record. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.